Hi guys, my name is Chris, and we're going to talk about dating while nerdy, which is very, very dangerous, especially if you find yourself in a place where you just don't happen to run into very many nerdy girls. I just don't even know what to say or even really where to start with this topic, because I found myself recently intertwined in situations where I'll meet a girl, and I'll be like, hey, what's up girl? She'll be like, hey, what's up boy? And she's feeling it, you can tell. She likes you, she's just feeling who you are. And so I go, you know what? I think I feel good enough about this to let this girl into my world, to let her know, you know, who I am and what I do, you know, here on the YouTubes, here, you know, just in my life in general. Because I like, can't get away from nerdiness when you're a nerd. You just can't get away from it. You shouldn't try to get away from it because if it's who you are and you love it and you love yourself, you should embrace it wholeheartedly. But admittedly, it's gonna scare some people away. And I do know for a fact that my ex, like. Before we lived together, she knew I was nerdy. It was an acceptable amount of nerd for her. But when she found out how nerdy I really was, it did turn her off a little bit. And I'm finding that in this this dating realm that I am having that happen, or rather having that happen, a lot more often than I like for it to happen. So I kind of feel like I should hide it. I'm like, you know what? Let me just tone it down a little bit. Let me not be really like very much of a nerd and just kind of see what happens. And then, you know, if the girl likes me, I'll just trap her. You know what I mean? Like, I will, like, let her, like, fall in love with me, let her get to know the person I really am, the really nice guy, the guy who, like, opens up doors and pays for things on occasion, um, is very thoughtful and caring and loving, considerate and all those things like that, and also handsome. <laughs> let her, like, fall in love with all those things. And then I'll be all like, oops, that Pokeball dropped out of my pocket. Where did that come from? Now, I know of a few girls here and there that don't like drugs. They'll never do drugs. And yet, they'll date guys who do hard freaking drugs. And yet, they found out that I do anime and I'm the worst person ever and they won't date me. And so it's, it's hard for me when I'm like out and I'm meeting people and I'm like, okay, that girl's awesome. I like that girl. She's fun. She's amazing. Huh? And then she goes, oh, I watched your video. Yeah. I'm going to be washing my hair for the next 60 years. And like, you know, I hear that a lot. Bye. So it's just kind of a, it's a conundrum where I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like, do I stay true to myself? Or do I do what gets me the ladies and then just let myself become like more and more a part of their lives and then they go, okay, you know what? You're a good guy. I can deal with this. And that's where I am. And the hard thing too is that I think I've been there before. I definitely could feel like she just kind of like tolerated it because she liked me, but not because she embraced and loved who I was wholeheartedly. And I don't want to put myself in that situation again. So let me just answer my own question. Maybe it's worth waiting for that girl that whether she's nerdy herself or not, is just going to love me for me and appreciate me for me. And truly do that, you know? Wow. That's answering my own question. At the end of the day, I think that sometimes just being a nerd is almost more interesting because you're more layered. You have all these like things and interests and passions that drive you. And so... While if you have to be a normal person, not normal, you know what I mean, but like a non-nerd, and you're considering dating a nerd, just know this, it, we're really fun. We're just as awesome as that other person, and maybe even a little bit better. And if you open up your mind, you will find that deep down, we're people just like you. And you need to look at that first before anything else. Mm. Now, you're allowed to be turned off by whatever you want mm. to be turned off by. Mm. Mm. But just know, you could be passing up someone truly amazing. Ever use teleport? How do you guys feel about that? Like, how do you guys feel about dating nine nerds and how does it work out for you? What do you guys do in those situations? Let's talk about it down below. I like when it jiggles. <laughs>